Hi, my name is Richard from Seaskin Dry Suits. Today I want to show you the simple but very important task of uh, keeping your dry suit valves tight. So when a dry suit leaves the factory, it's obviously been tightened up here, but they do work loose and it's important uh, that you keep tightening them um, for at least the first six months of the when you get a new suit. And then a lot of people, it's, it makes sense to make it part of your, your equipment check on a regular basis, is just check the tightness of the valves. Now, let's start with the inflation. This is a Apex inflator on a Seaskin Nova dry suit. Probably the easiest valve to tighten because all you do is t swivel the nipple of the suit round till it reaches its stop, so swiveling it clockwise. Then put your hand in the back of the suit and we're going to turn this as tightly as we can. So we just, we'll work the two against each other and tighten it up. And just tighten it up nice and finger tight. So that's nice and easy. So if you get a leak on the chest of your, uh, in the chest area suit, first thing is always to check how tight is the valve. Okay, so that's nice and easy. A little bit more involved is the shoulder dump because as it states on the in, written on the inside of the valve, the locking nut, it says to fit and remove nut depress dump valve. Well, what does that mean? It means you've got to do that action. Did you hear that little click there? So we're going to press. When we tighten it, it's important that we press down and then tighten, okay? Because if we don't, what it can do is it goes on the ratchet and will ruin the mechanism of the dump valve. So this is how we do it in practice. Put your hand inside the suit. It's often easy to go in through the neck, neck seal. So my hand's here. I'm putting the, the locking nut in the palm of my hand. I'm pressing down. First of all, it, make, it can be easy if you just turn the valve fully clockwise. Pressing the down, hearing the click, and then tightening it up while pressing down. Tight, press down, tighten up. Press down, tighten up. Okay? And it's important to do that process every time uh, that you go diving when you get a new suit. Even more important on a neoprene suit than a membrane suit. A neoprene suit, as the neoprene starts to crush down over time, even more so, it becomes very, very thin and you need to be taking up the slack every time. Okay, so that's it on, a, on Apex valves. Cytec valves, the inflation is slightly more complicated because of its design feature of being a complete 360 swivel. Okay, so you, there's nothing to grip, you can't use the nipple as your, as your grip. You have to grip by using this part of the valve. So you're, you're holding it there and then tightening on the back, on the back. So you're gonna hold the, the nut set steady and tighten the locking nut down. It's aided by, all Cytec valves are fitted by this, this washer, which enables the back to spin very easily on the suit. You can do it with your hand. Um, it's a little bit of an effort. You can also, if you've got one of these tools from Cytec, which you'll get if you've got a quick neck suit. It's got a clever little uh, spanner arrangement on the back there. Now, to be honest with you, it only really works on the inner locking nut and if you get the lugs, that's these little bit of plastic here and here, engaged in the uh, recesses here and here, then you can use that as a spanner to work, work, it, up, work it off. I've never had much luck of being able to use it on the outside, uh, but you can get a little bit of purchase, but you can only ever use one of the hot, one of the lugs in one of the notches. Both notches don't seem to want to engage. Better than that tool is 
using the specialist uh, Cytec uh, valve tightening tool. And there what you do is arrange the nipple in the right position to be able to get the little recesses here over the lugs. And you can tighten up the valve like that. And if you're really clever, you have two and you can work them against each other and get things really nice and tight and secure. Makes even more sense to do that, but you use the other side on the dump valve like that, because then you're not depressing, because it's the same. Dangerous, never tighten the valve by using the top cap here. You will always have to do it that on the dump valve. So, valve tool if you've got it, if not, grip the outshard ridge, never this. That's the roll, that's the takeaway, okay? Do yourself a, uh, a favor, read the manuals. Lots of good stuff about all sorts of servicing, main maintenance of the valves, which I'll cover in a another video, uh, hopefully. But do read them, they come with the suits. And they're also available, if you've lost them, they're available online. Both sites are very good for support on the Apex and the SciTech. There's one other thing. On the chest valve, on the inflation valve, if you've tightened that but you're still getting a leak, there is potentially one other area uh, that could be the, causing the problem. And that is that the Schrader valve, that's the valve inside down there, has become loose. Okay? You can, if it has become loose, it can let water in, particularly when you depress the button. It will aerosol. Uh, pull water in from around an aerosol water, uh, water into the suit. So, you can use these tools, these are available on our website, and these fit down inside the, the valve, and it sits over the Schrader valve, engages in the little bar, and you just tighten that up. And just do that finger tight, no need to go crazy tight on that, just so it's snug, just finger tight there. Okay, and that's how to tighten the valve on your inflate, low pressure inflator hose. That works for, uh, for your, your BC or wing as well. Okay, I hope that's uh, useful for you. Just keep those valves tight and you won't get any leaks through them. Thanks very much, I'll see you again soon. Cheers, bye.